Hello everyone! Welcome to Math is Fun! Our lesson for today is all about rounding decimal numbers to the nearest whole number and tenths. These are the steps in rounding decimal numbers to the nearest whole number and tenths. Number 1. Determine the rounding place and the digit to the right of the rounding place. Number 2. The digit in the rounding place is the one that will either be rounded up or rounded down depending on the digit to its right. Number 3. If the digit to the right of the rounding place is 5 or greater, add 1 to the rounding place, while less than 5 means retaining the digit in the rounding place. Number 4. Do not forget to drop all the digits after the rounding place. To understand the steps, let's study some examples. Round to the nearest whole number. So first is we're going to find the rounding place. And the rounding place is the nearest whole number. So 5 is the rounding digit. The life of 5 depends upon the digit to its right. So, what is the digit to the right of 5? Yes, you are right, 7. Then let's evaluate 7 if it is a round down or round up digit. So, what are round down digits? Alright, round down digits, these are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. How about the round up digits? Very good. The round up digits are 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. If the digit to the right of the rounding place is a round down digit, then the rounding digit will be remained. But if the digit to the right of the rounding digit is a round up digit then the rounding digit will be added by one so what is seven round down or round up digit yes very good seven is in the round up digit so what shall we do with five all right we're going to add one to five 5, it becomes 6. Then 7 and 1, we're going to drop down. The final answer is 6. This is our rounded number. Another example. Round to the nearest tens. So, what is the rounding place? Alright, it is tens. What digit lies on the tens place? Yes, you are right. 3 is the rounding digit. Next is we're going to look at the digit to the right of 3, which is 4. So let's evaluate 4 if it is a round down or round up digit. What are round down digits? Alright, these are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. How about the round up digit? Yes. These are 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So, if the digit to the right of the rounding place is a round down digit, then the rounding digit will be remained. But, if the digit to the right of the rounding place is a round up digit, then the rounding digit will be added by 1. So, what is 4? Round down or round up digit? Yes, you are right. 4 is a round down digit. So, what shall we do with 3? Yes, 3 will be remained. Then we're going to copy the digit to the left of 3. Then drop the digit to the right of 3. 
we copy the decimal point and 4. Therefore, 4 and 3 tenths is our rounded number. This is the final answer. Let's have a short exercise. Round the following numbers to the indicated place value. Number 1, 8 and 78 hundredths. We're going to round it off to the nearest whole number. So, what is your answer? Yes, you are right. The answer is equal to 9. The rounding place is 8. This is our rounding digit. Right of 8 is 7. 7 is a round up digit. Then, we're going to add 1 to 8. 8 becomes 9. Then, 7 and 8, we're going to drop. 9 is the final answer. Number 2. 65 hundredths. We're going to round it off to the nearest tenths. So, what is your answer? Very good. The answer is equal to 7 tenths. Why it becomes 7 tenths? Yes, the rounding digit is 6. Right of 6 is 5. 5 is a round up digit. Then we're going to add 1 to 6. 6, it becomes 7. Then 5, we're going to drop. The final answer is 7 tenths. Another number, 95 hundredths. We're going to round it off to the nearest tenths. So, what is your answer? Very good. The answer is equal to 1. The rounding digit is 9. Right of 9 is 5. 5 is a round up digit. Then we're going to add 1 to 9. 9 plus 1 is equal to 10. We regroup 1. The final answer is 1. Next number. 5 and 39 hundredths. Round it off to the nearest whole number. So what is your answer? Fantastic! The answer is equal to 5. The rounding digit is 5. Right of 5 is 3. 3 is a round down digit. So 5 will be remained. Then the final answer is equal to 5. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. With this, just because something is difficult doesn't mean you shouldn't try. It just means you should try harder. Thank you for watching this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos.